Hello friends, this is Ryan Hicks at TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to start a series on selling on eBay and Amazon and other marketplaces, but specifically eBay and Amazon. My companies have been selling on eBay and Amazon for over 15 years. I have the some of the highest sales of, on both marketplaces. Of We're in the top 5% of any company on there. We do very, very well, and there are many basic things that people just skip over and don't even know that can dramatically hinder their success and even cause them to get suspended, especially with Amazon. Amazon is far more touchy on suspensions and following the rules exactly, and sometimes the rules are a little vague, so you need to err on the side of doing what's right for the customer. And that's really where most Amazon's rules are for, is to make sure the customer has a good experience, that the buying experience is good. And eBay wants the same thing, although eBay allows a little more back and forth, and they don't necessarily suspend as quickly as Amazon does. Although in the past, they used to have a bigger issue with that. And then PayPal would have issues with locking people's accounts and you'd have to verify your account information. It was a big, big mess, but it's not like that anymore. And if you do the right thing, for the most part, you will be fine on all these marketplaces. But you need to know what the right thing is. Because even though you think you're doing everything right, what do the rules say? And so I'm going to get into some of the rules that almost everybody doesn't listen to. They ignore they skate past it and in some cases one of the problems is because Amazon itself doesn't really follow the rules if you look at Amazon warehouse deals for example look at their feedback percentage it hovers between 85 percent and sometimes lower which is not good if we did that as sellers on Amazon we would probably get suspended pretty quickly you have to because you're selling on their marketplace you have to abide by their rules you have to know their rules some of the rules are a little vague, and I'm going to go into things that can really help you provide the best customer service, the best experience for your customer in the overall buying experience, and how to abide by the terms of these marketplaces and become the most successful you can be. And I'm going to gear this for people who are at all levels, whether you are thrifting, you're doing retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, private labeling, you're doing like one of my companies does, which is we actually manufacture for people selling private label items. So we manufacture their private label items for them, which is where you really make a lot more money than just doing private label. Whatever you may be doing, if you're doing liquidations, if you're doing wholesale, I'm going to touch on all those issues, all those areas where some good points are, where you need to be careful and try to help you profit because part of this channel is to obviously teach you spiritual principles that will help you profit every single day in all areas of your life not just talking about monetarily but also i want to give you practical things you can actually take action on besides the spiritual things because you can sit around your house praying all day long and god's not going to rain money down from heaven on you he's not going to make you healthy when you won't get up and exercise you have to do some basic things. You have to take action. And it's very simple and God will give you wisdom and I'm gonna to help to also provide as much wisdom as I could possibly give you and be a blessing for you. Make sure to go to my website, taughttoprofit.com and sign up for the newsletter. That way you'll be notified whenever I have new posts, new things that I'm talking about, dealing with this subject and a variety of other subjects that will help you profit in every area of your life. So my friends, I pray this series will be a blessing for you. Keep an eye out for this series on eBay, Amazon, and other marketplaces, tips on selling on these markets, and making the most you possibly can. May God bless you richly.